Dinner? Did you say dinner? Like just the two of us in the same town on the same day in the same restaurant, possibly at the same table? Oh, that kind of gets them right up and dancing. You know what? I think February birthdays are the best birthdays to have. That that would be for a bar mitzvah, and we're not even Jewish. Guys, if I'm not floating, that means something bad's happening. Hi, welcome to Comedy Parenting. It's the only radio show that calls travel agents to book trips to the dump. Dad, it's actually called the Solid Waste Landfill. I know, so when I ask to... Uh, book a trip to the solid waste landfill they start looking it up on their computers we want to welcome our listeners from Großbusana, Germany there's an umlaut there from Großbusana, Germany Gonzales, LA what's LA stand for? Los Santos y'all are crazy we need to go back to history class <laughs> wait not history class geography class geography Roger. class and Gonzales, Louisiana Dark Lines, Australia mate we also want to welcome our listeners that are tuning in from CastBox, iHeart, Overcast, iTunes, and my favorite stalker is listening to us from Beyond Pod. Beyond Pod. As well as over 30 other platforms. Welcome to Comedy Parenting Radio. What's on the menu today, Dad? Today we're talking about birthdays. Oh boy. I don't know anything about birthdays. We'll see. We'll be right back. Ranger Station, Ranger speaking. Yeah, hi. I'd like to report a bear sighting. Location? Uh, in the woods, just outside of town. Oh, not surprising. You've got your home. Bears have theirs. Yeah, but see, this wasn't just any bear. This bear was wearing jeans and a hat, as in a smoky bear. Jeans and a hat, that's definitely smoky. What exactly did he have to say? Well, we were about to head home, you know, after having a bonfire. Oh, I can guess where this is going. Right, right. See, Smokey told me the fire wasn't actually out. He said if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. That's true. Did you know that 9 out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans? That means 9 out of 10 wildfires can be prevented. Wow, no kidding? I'm a forest ranger. We never kid. Sorry. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh. If you see someone in danger of starting a wildfire, step in and make a difference because 9 out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans. Brought to you by Smokey Bear, the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio. And uh, your blue sock is behind the bed. Okay, we're back with Comedy Parenting Radio talking about birthdays. So, Dad, what's the secret to having lots of birthdays? Well, like my friend Jacques says, is uh, just keep breathing. You have a lot of birthdays. If you stop breathing, that's definitely not a way to get to your next birthday. It's not a very good plan. Well, you sure can't blow out the candles. <laughs> the worst birthday I ever had was my seventh birthday. Toy-wise, it was one of my best birthdays. But, um, uh, well, medical-wise, I did not feel good. It's my birthday's in february so it's very cold i think since your birthday's in february i'm just gonna get you a tray of ice cubes i think they'd stick to my tongue you can play with them you know pretend like the titanic you know what i think february birthdays are the best birthdays to have why is that because you can go do so much fun stuff like skiing or sledding at least if you live up here in colorado if you live down in texas in the winter time there's not much you can do for your birthday other than maybe go to the mall to the mall yeah. Lots of birthday songs playing at the mall. Speaking of birthday songs, what about weird birthday songs? Do you know any? For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. How's that weird? That is a, used to be the most common birthday she song. She is a good fellow. <laughs> what about... <laughs> what? You know what's one of my favorite uh, birthday aberration songs? What? You look like a monkey, and you act like one, too. I thought it was you smelled like a zoo. I guess you can add whatever you want on that one. You can really jazz up a birthday song, right? Yep, you really can. Let's try it. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, dear Elijah. Cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha 
cha cha. That was pretty jazzy. Pretty jazzy. For nah, a birthday, nah, nah. You know, especially if like you're at a nursing home. Yeah. And the person's 110 years old. <laughs> you, you can just add the cha cha cha, and that kind of gets them right up and dancing. Mm-hmm. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio, talking birthdays. We'll be right back. Wait! I must have the password. Oh, well, if you must have it, that's wonderful. I'm glad you have that. Well, please, the password. You said you have the password. That's... Yeah, but how do I know you have the password? You didn't huh? You didn't say you knew I have the password. Well, that's password. You know the password. Yeah, but I must have the password. Well, if you have it, then protect it. Stay with it. Don't lose it. Keep it forever. Where is the password? How do I know you have that password? Oh, I have the password. Oh, but then what do you need it again? How do I know you have the password? Aha! Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. see? Well, uh-huh. here, here's my here, password. Here. here, well, here. See? We're losing him, doctor. Quick, administer CPR. Cardio, pulmonary, resuscitation? No, silly. Comedy Parenting Radio. Let's talk birthday cakes for a moment. Mm. What's your favorite? Tres leches. Pie. German chocolate. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah, German mm. chocolate. Like with the... With the coconut... Coconut f- It was really good. And the, the... Oh, what are they called? Around the edges? Yeah, that's all I want for my birthdays for the next hundred years. Didn't we surprise you once with a German chocolate cake? We did. Our friend and I? Yeah. One of our friends made a German chocolate cake. Yeah. It was yeah. so good. I actually got what I wanted. It was pretty cool. Do you like sheet cake or do you like them stacked on top of each other? Sheet. Honestly, I prefer a layered cake if I was to go with a la- with any kind of cake, but I prefer cheesecake. That's the best kind of cake. Tres Leches is the best because it has white chocolate and dark chocolate and milk. And kind of like brownie, so it's kind of like dipping a cookie in milk and then eating it. Delightful. Are there any kind of birthday cakes that you really don't care for? Trace Light Chase. Aww. I don't like lemon birthday cakes. Lemon? Yeah. Lemon with some white vanilla frosting sounds pretty good. No, not for a birthday. Yeah, it does. No. It, it's, it seriously does. That would be for a bar mitzvah, and we're not even Jewish. Can we all just go for chocolate mousse tuxedo cake? Like we said a whole bunch of other times. When did we say that? None of us knows how to make that. But it's like the best cake I've ever had. What about opening up presents? Oh, well, that's like the best part of it all. For who? For the person who's opening them. The only bad part about opening up birthday presents and stuff is that you have to send out thank you cards, and I'm terrible at sending out thank you cards. Me too. If you put a stamp on them, they wouldn't keep coming back. (laughs) You guys are forgetting the best part about birthdays. Having the next one? <laughs> no. Birthday party games. Oh. Ooh. Like, for example? Uh, well, probably the most common is pin the tail on the donkey or variations of that. I'm terrible at that game. I always go in the wrong direction. I'm headed towards shuffleboard games. Ice cream. Oh, yes. Ice cream. Oh, yes. I do have a favorite ice cream. Oh, Coconut cherry. Oh, yeah. I've never even heard of coconut cherry. Is this homemade? Uh, I honestly do not know, actually. It's it very probably sp- could be. Or it's a very specialty ice cream that you get in specialty ice cream stores, not just City Market where we always go shopping for ice cream. We don't have a specialty ice cream store within 200 miles of where we live. I'll give you a hint. This uh, ice cream store is, I'm going to guess, over 1,000 miles away. Got it. We'll have some flown in when you have a birthday. And then you can say, what's this melted stuff here in our mailbox? Uh, probably my favorite ice cream has to be Rocky Road. We live on a Rocky Road. Why would that also be your favorite ice cream? Wouldn't you like to have some ice cream that'd be like called Smooth Black Top? No. How about... It could yeah, be licorice. I'd prefer... I'd, I'd prefer the Marble Mud Flow ice cream. That's good stuff. You know what they need to make? What? Licorice ice cream. Oh, yes. They don't? I haven't heard of any. Me neither. What kind of miscreants are there? If you guys are ice cream producers out there, make 
licorice ice cream. Please, Justin, I don't want to go. If you enjoy comedy parenting radio, then you'll laugh till your stomach hurts while reading a copy of my book, Dad, the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come. In it, you'll see all the comedy parenting cast members drawn in cartoon style in an unforgettable story of weird parenting and tooth fairy mayhem. What happens at the Begley house when the tooth fairy doesn't come? Things spiral way out of control until our hero steps in to save the day. I wrote and illustrated Dad the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come to be so much fun to read to your little ones that you'll enjoy reading it again and again and again. Dad the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come is the world's first children's book to be edited and colorized using on-site solar and wind power here at Studio B. In addition, we received the Green Circle Award for eco-friendly books made in the USA. Finally, Dad the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come is CPSIA certified, meaning it's safe for children under 12. No toxic chemicals are in the book. When you're ready for a fantastic read that's full of fun, pick up a copy of Dad the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come. On sale now at Amazon and other quality outlets. Sure, humans can be a little weird at times, but take it from me, I'm a dog. And a person is about the best thing that can happen to a shelter pet. So if you want to learn how you can be that person, get down to your local pet shelter or visit the shelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Captain, I must inform you, you are listening to Comedy Parenting Radio. Okay, it's bad birthdays at Comedy Parenting Radio. In my long existence upon this earth, I've only had so far one bad birthday. How come you guys only get one? Because we're too young to have more than one. I've had like 98% of my birthdays have been bad. Oh, it's just, you know, when you turn into an adult, nobody celebrates your birthday. Like, when you're a kid, they don't say happy birthday. They're just like, eh, eh. Anyway, tell me about your bad birthday. Oh, I guess it really wasn't all that bad. I'm just not used to not going skiing on my birthday because ever since I was 13, I went skiing on my birthday. And down in Texas, they don't have really any ski slopes, so I didn't get to go skiing on my birthday. I remember you taking me snowboarding on your 18th birthday. That was pretty cool. That hurt. (laughs) Dad, I took you to the easiest mountain in the Aspen area. I survived it. Thank you for giving me that birthday present. (laughs) Elijah, what's your worst birthday? I can't really think of a bad birthday, really. Really? Yeah, that's true. Well, well, which one was the not most exciting? Every single year it seems to get a little bit less and less and less and less uh, large. Like last year, literally all we did was I had some cake and ice cream and we sat on the couch and opened cards. Well, it was just me, Josiah, and Dad. We opened cards... And then we went to bed. That sounds like the perfect birthday for me. What are we going to do this year on your birthday, Elijah? Uh, We're going to eat pistachio ice cream. And do what else? And we're going to go to a pond. And open cards. And eat cake. And go to bed. Sounds great. No, actually, you're going to be floating in a pond at some point here, aren't you? Well, I hope I'm floating. Because if I'm not floating, that means something bad's happening. You've been listening to Comedy Parenting Radio talking about birthdays. I want to thank everybody for coming to the studio today. You're welcome. My pleasure. You're welcome. When uh, you guys leave, mm-hmm. yeah. would you put all these trick candles on the birthday cake for Elijah so he doesn't know that he has to blow them out all day long? <laughs> I didn't like that laugh. Bye bye. I think it's only fair to warn you, this facility is surrounded by a highly trained team of 130 black ops snipers. I don't believe you. Would you believe two dozen Delta Force commandos? No. How about Chuck Norris with a BB gun?